for the sign of cancer. Hello and welcome to my channel. Now with the Queen of Cups showing up, it's it's a good card in the tarot. It's showing that someone has um, very caring feelings for you. This person uh, is wanting to nurture you. They want to be healing and supportive of you. That's what the King of that's what this Queen of Cups is about. Um, there's a lot of love and compassion here. This could be you feeling that way about someone or someone feeling that way about you. So, Queen of Cups is someone that's very helpful to you. Bringing love and compassion. Um, it indicates a very positive outlook about a relationship. And if you're single... There's some single cancers out there listening, and you get the Queen of Cups in a reading. It's a good indicator that you should get out and mingle, which you, you can do these days, but with a face mask, it's going to be hard to impress someone. So probably online. Yeah, for you single cancers, this card is, is it's an indicator you should socialize because a new positive romance could be on the horizon. So yeah, your single cancers, that's just a little side note for you. Put, your, put some pretty pictures online, all over the website. Because this is a really good card to find someone, to find a good, you know, a good loving person. So this Queen of Cups, it's here with the Seven of Swords. Okay, Seven of Swords, it points to someone who could be behaving with less than ethical intention. Someone could be spying on you. Your person could be stalking you. Someone that you know could be doing this to you or you to them. So it could mean, like I said, prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you're probably right. And if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who's giving you cause for concern, you just might want to resist the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. So someone could have some trust issues here. So they're being strategic, manipulative, could be playing games, tactics, stalking, spying. Is this you, Cancer, or is this someone that you know? Now, because it's with this Queen of Cups, this person, they do have very caring, loving feelings for you. Yeah, they, they like you a lot, but they, they may have trust issues, so they probably watch you when you're not aware of it. So let's take a look at the rest of the reading to see where this is going, and then we'll come back to these two. So the person that you're dealing with, they see you as a sun card on the Wheel of Fortune. Now the sun card, it's a beautiful card in the tarot. Things are in good shape when you get the sun card. So, just keep in mind, it, it doesn't mean that you can lose your focus on what's important in life, though. And money is not high on the list for some of us. I know for me it is. But that's what the sun card is saying. So, they see you as adding sunshine to their life. Whoever you're dealing with, they see you as bright and happy. And they, they um, like the energy that you bring. You bring a lot of good, positive energy. They also see you as a will of fortune. Now, just to explain the will of fortune, it, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. So if you suddenly find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, it's going to change. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of your control. But even that's okay. We're all with any changes and think positive. So when it comes to love questions, this will of fortune... It's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or is possibly no longer going to suit your needs. 
And this is how they see you. They see you bring good fortune to them, but you're at a turning point with this will of fortune. But they like that you add sunshine to their life. They see you transforming, changing. You're in cycles. You bring good fortune their way. And they just love your, your warm energy. Yeah. You're, you're a blessing. You feel like a blessing to this person. But they see you changing. That will is turning. It's not it's not standing still like it looks like it is in the picture. It's actually going around and around, probably really slow. So that's how they see you. Now let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. King of Pentacles, success and money matters. When you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means cash, coins, finance, money, income. So it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. It's probably the time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, this is referring to an actual person in your life. He'll probably have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust in absolutely. So you see them as wanting to secure and commit this connection with you. Uh, King of Pentacles, they're very stable types. Yeah, they're good fathers, good father figures. So, yeah, you see them wanting success with you. So it's with this narcissistic card, though. The King of Swords. King of Swords, they could be opinionated, forceful. Could feel like they step on your toes all the time. They're opinionated, they're arrogant, they're pushy. They're over, they overstep their bounds. So if this is you, Cancer, or if this is not, if this is, yeah, just say for instance, if it is you, just for an example, you could be tempted only about how things affect you personally. Yeah, you can be self-centered if this is you, but we're talking about how you see them. So this could be, this is them. Yeah, this they only think about how things bother them and not how you feel. So it's about considering the feelings of others before you act. This is, like I said, this is a very, very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this man to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might have to change something major about yourself, your thoughts and or expectations. So this is how you see your person. Like I said, they call this a narcissist card. And this narcissist wants to have success with you. You see them wanting to have success with you. Yep. They want to secure this connection with you. But they're very, very forceful. Yep. They could, um, this King of Swords could be the type that uh, will mistreat you. Like I said, they could overstep their bounds. So sometimes you might feel like you have to protect yourself. But they want success with you, Cancer. Now let's see why it's happening. Why it's happening because of the Six of Cups and the Hierophant. The Six of Cups is about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can but not always be connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So... Why it's happening 
is because you probably you can or your person probably feel really familiar like you've known each other in a past life before um, you're very comfortable with each other or you them or they you so yeah very comfortable with each other I don't know if you guys have just been together for a long time or this could be um, someone that came back from the past and you guys are still together but they could feel like they known you from a past life before or you them feel, or you could be feeling that way about them so it's with the higher foot now the higher foot I like this card a lot. It's the type of person when you call on them for advice or help with some important matters or issues, their intelligence and empathy it puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. This could be you or your person or someone that you know and they're quick-witted, well-educated wise teacher marked by integrity they're the genuine article a true blue they're highly admired individuals who walk the walk and they also talk the talk and stand firm in their beliefs and convictions so yeah so why it's happening we got this moral 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 and ethical and traditional card here the hierophant and it's with the six of cups this nostal nostalgia card familiarity happy memories the six of cups so let's recap the reading and then we'll clarify these two cards better so basically for the present time we talked about this queen of cups and the seven of swords so it looks like your person um they they either stopped you before or they're doing it now or they could be thinking about doing it but with the Queen of Cups here, uh, they got a lot of emotions for you. Uh, there's love and compassion there. Or this could be you toward feeling this way towards them. But they keep their eyes on you. They watch you a lot. And I'm picking up is because um, they want success with you. That's how you see them. But they, they, they're kind of narcissistic. They overstep their bounds and they're forceful. And they see you adding sunshine to their life. Or you could be feeling that they add sunshine to yours. But I'm going to say it's the other way around. Because the narcissist, they can be, they can be, this king of swords can be difficult. So... I say they see you adding happy days and sunshine to their lives. They want success with you. And they see you're they see you're in a cycle, you're changing. Yeah. You're growing, you're changing. So they could be afraid of losing you, so they keep tabs on you. They probably check your phone at night when they think you're not watching. Cause they don't want to lose you. Yeah, you make them happy. But they see you're changing. So they could be afraid of that change. And like I said, we have the Six of Cups, cups here. You could feel that this person is someone that you've known before. And that's probably why you, you're you still here. Or you just feel comfortable with this person. Yeah. You could feel like I said, maybe you could feel like there's someone that you this is someone that you knew in a past life there's some very um 
very comfortable feelings with this person. Very comfortable with the Six of Cups. You guys could have some happy memories from the past. Like I said, this could be a past person that you knew from childhood and you guys are back together. Something like that. And so, you just feel like... Um, you're used to this person. Maybe you've been with them for years and you just know what to expect. But the Hierophant is here, so you're, you're probably, Cancer, you're probably wishing that this person was more, probably more spiritual. Or probably just more, more like a friend. Because right now you get a lot of cold energy with this King of Swords. A lot of cold energy. They don't really show their emotions. Yeah, and you probably don't know that they want success with you, but they do. I'm here to tell you because you got the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you probably don't know because they don't really, the King of Swords, they don't express themselves. So you probably spend a lot of time wishing that you could feel like Um, they were more like a friend, somebody, someone that you could talk to. Yeah, because you probably don't get that with this person. But there's familiarity there. And you add sunshine to their lives. They want to win with you. They see you're in a cycle that you could be changing. So it probably puts them in fear mode. So they start to watch you. They probably have stopped you before, or they might be doing this coming up soon. Up soon. Up soon.